What is up everyone? Welcome to uh, the Sheridan in Raleigh, North Carolina, the Triad Research Park. We're here for Apex High. We're unloading all the road cases from Aaron's trailer and then we're gonna unload all of my trailer. This is uh, quite the production, quite the display. Lots of decor. We're doing an amazing, amazing amount of lighting today. Um, it's gonna be a lot. Not your traditional kind of lighting. We're doing all string lighting and uh, up lights. No movers, nothing crazy like that, but we do have a crap load of truss. We got 48 feet of truss, we got fake trees. I will take that, sir. Rolling cases. So yeah, right now we got four people here. Right now we got Aaron, who is um, basically my homie that does all of the audio for us. We got, I think like eight subwoofers today. <laughs> VRX 932 constant curvature arrays. We got some SRXs for center fill. That's gonna be the main sound system, turntable booth, all that fun stuff. But right now we got Aaron, Hayden, Joey. We're gonna have Corn, Ralph, and yeah, text and see where Ralph's at. Corn, Ralph, and um, Gabe coming. And then Marcellus and Hannah will probably come later too. Hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse of the setup. Here's where we're at right now. All the string lighting is set up. We do have a couple poles down because we are wrapping some vines around them. Let me show you guys. So like I said, we're wrapping some vines around the ones above the dance floor. Gabe's working on that right now. We also got some vinery put on the top to hide the truss. We gotta do that on that side. We got the arrays up. Aaron's cleaning up all his cabling on the back rack with Joey. We got our array of eight JBL VRX 918 SPs. We have the JBL SRX 815 P's for center fills. Turntable move up there. 932 LAP's up top on top of some Global Trust crank stands. These things are dope. They got like measurements and everything on the back. There's a vendor set up the photo booth. We got some wash effects. They're gonna be on the corners. So we got like two wash effects, one on either side, and then we're gonna put one on top of each one of these truss trees, basically. If I didn't show you guys, I don't think I showed you guys, but. So this right here is the, uh, basically the tree trunks that we have created. And what this is, is it's a 16 inch concrete tube form. And then this is a textured foam. It's actually foam, it's textured to look like bark. And this comes from, of course, China. And you can order this in bulk and then you just staple them to the cardboard tubes. And then the 16 inch ones will slide perfectly over 12 inch global truss, which is dope. And that creates our fake tree trunks on all four corners. We have a bunch of fake greenery that we're putting on top right here. Down here we got three totes full of it, but here's some of it, some fake greenery, fake greenery, fake greenery. And then we got these long nine foot sections here that Gabe is kind of interweaving with the uh, the bistro lights that are above the dance floor. And uh, we do have two poles down, that one and that one, just so that it was easier to weave all of the greenery in while we're working on it. But yeah, this is the setup. Oh, let me show you guys something new that just came in. So I went on 12 inch skins and got me some new custom plates for the Rain 12s with the logo. Super hyped about this. I, do just re I did just realize I have to recreate what my uh, marker is gonna be. I didn't think about that when I designed it. Probably gonna go off the K and Ricky. But yeah, I'm working on getting the other one changed over. These are super simple to change. There's uh, three Phillips screws that hold uh, this together. This is the back plate, this is the front plate. And you just screw on your new one. Shout out 12 inch skins though. They didn't sponsor anything, I paid full price, but these are sick. Gonna be ready to DJ tonight. And then we'll turn them on later, but we actually have 48 both lighting S4s around the room, which is uh, the most up lighting I've ever used in a sing singular room ever. We're doing five on each of the far walls, 15 on the main walls, and then we got additional eight that we're gonna be using in a variety of locations, probably on this backdrop here. But yeah, we're, uh, we're in the finishing touches stage, setting up all the little things, getting all the audio wire and figured out and all that fun stuff. We're gonna move into getting lighting here in a second, but yeah, stay tuned, more to come. What's up, we all updated, um, everything is set up, we're ready to go. Me and Gabe and Corn are gonna do some uh, music planning session here. The other guys have left, they'll come back later on, or um, they have other things going on tonight, so they won't be back tonight. But um, we're all set up. Let me show you a little bit of what we're doing. The only thing that's not on right now is up lights. We have 48 of the both lighting S4s. Probably already mentioned that before, but obviously for battery purposes, it's four o'clock. We're not gonna turn them on because we go until midnight tonight. So we'll turn them on sometime around maybe seven. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys this craziness. The sun will be setting by eight o'clock, so we should have a nice 
dark entryway to work with. But you can see we have bistro lights all the way around the room. Approximately about 800 feet of bistro lights. These are, if I got close to one of them, these are all plastic LEDs. So these are not gonna break. They're also what the plastic makes them very lightweight, which makes them easy to hang like this. Around the room, we have a variety of basically our pipe and drape poles. These are from Georgia Expo. They're the seven to 12 variable height pipe and drape poles. And then the lights are zip tied or tied up on top of each one of the poles in this zigzag configuration. Um, we are using the extremely heavy base plates and depending on where the base plates fall, some of them need more weight than others. This one is actually one of the most critical points. There are three hangs going in a completely different direction. So there's a lot of weight pulling them this way versus the pole over there, which has lights pulling it in all directions. So really it's evened out. But um, we have rubber weights. These are all from Georgia Expo too. Those are 30 pound rubber weights. We also have 30 pound sandbags in a variety of locations around here. Check it out. All the bistro lights all hung up. Like I mentioned, this one right here has lights going in all directions. So we don't need much weight support. We just threw one 30 pound sand on there just for safety purposes. Coming to the center of the room and this is duplicated on that side. So you got all the zigzags on this side, they have on this side. Around the dance floor. This is um, pretty crazy, but uh, we, we dressed it up very nicely now with all of the greenery up on top of these. You can't even tell that that is trussing inside of each one of these. So you probably saw in the time lapse, but we have a variety of different sections creating these. We have two two meters together and we have a three meter and a one meter. Um, we have two of each of those. So basically these are about 13 feet high. The uh, segments here that I've already gone through, these are the, the tree log segments. Those get to 12 feet. So we put some greenery on top to hide the trussing, but that also gave us points to mount all of our lights and hang all of our lights from around the room. And then with the string lighting in the center here, we actually put some greenery mixed in with it right around the stage to add just a nice little effect. These, these front two, uh, trussing stacks here on top of them is my uh totems they're the totems that have the outlets built into them so we put them up front because that's where all of our power is running so up on top there we have a dimmer pack that runs all of the lights actually all of the lights literally come from either that one or that one that's what they're plugged into and there's a dimmer pack in there and the dimmer pack allows us to basically dim these these are about half brightness right now so that way it's not too bright in this room. And of course up there we also have wash effects too. So there's one mounted on either side. And then we also have ones, if I hurt, hustled out here. We have ones out on the sides. So either side has a gravity stand with a wash effects too. All of them running on wireless DMX donor, wireless DMX receivers. And here's a nice little pan shot of the whole entire room. And of course, let's get to the piece of the resistance. What you guys are probably geeking over right now, our sound system. So sound system today, we have crank stands. What, what model are these? These are the Duratrust, basically global, global trust Duratrust. Oh, there they are. Pro 4000s. These are really cool because they actually have a really low like loading height. So it makes them really nice to hang up, hang in the air. So up top, VRX 932s, two per side. Uh, we have SRX center fills. We have EVZLX speakers for monitors. And we have a JBL VRX 918 SPs, powered subwoofers, and complete overkill. We can push so much bass and literally not even get close to the limit. Of course up here, turntable booth. I showed that earlier, custom turntable booth. And then uh, over here in a geek world, as I call it, nerd land geek world is where we have all the fun stuff. Well, we have the DMX station here, Chave Show Express, wireless DMX transmitter running to our uplights. Um, here's the configuration we went off of earlier. Wireless mics for Audio-Technica. But over here, this is Aaron's world, except for my mic rack, but this is all Aaron's world. Check it out. I don't even know what, we got a Thurman. We have a DBX drive rack venue 360. We have a patch panel. He's got a Soundcraft, Soundcraft UI 16 in there. There's more stuff in here with, with a DL32, whatever that is. Oh, the Midas console. Yeah, the, the Midas console. The Midas console. He's got an access point up there so that way you can control the uh, Venue 360 from anywhere with an iPad. And down here, we have a distro. So um, how many circuits are we working? Eight, eight circuits, eight 20 amp circuits, all coming off of a wonderful 50 amp 220 plug right here allows us to power everything with ample power. We literally have like a dedicated circuit for everything. How, how many subs, how many circuits are the subs? We split the subs on three different circuits, uh, sub three, sub three, and sub two. Subs are on three different circuits, so there's three 20 amp circuits just for the subs. And then you got the tops all on one or separate? Tops are all on one. Tops are all on one, and then all the monitors and me are on one, and then what else are we using? Some of the other stuff split off just for redundancy. Yeah, so we're using a lot of power, but we got plenty of it because we have a distro box. But yeah, 
This is, um, I'm kind of at a loss for words, honestly, looking at this, this is pretty incredible. It's, it's always crazy when you design something in your head. And actually, a little teaser, a little backstory on this. This is the actual theme, design, quote, proposal that we quoted all the way back in 2019 for the 2020 prom that of course got canceled because of COVID. And then if you followed the channel last year, uh, they also did not do prom for 2021 and we did it under a tent downtown Apex. That was interesting because it was like during the daytime, but it was COVID really, it was whatever. That was towards the tail end of the COVID restrictions back in May of last year, something like that. This is the, basically, this is two years of planning. <laughs> well, it wasn't supposed to be, but two years in advance. Um, here's the cool entryway. We did not design this, but they had this brought in. Check it out. Really cool hedge, hedge boxwood entryway. Got some mushrooms, backdrop, apex, enchanted forest prom, woodland fairy tale. Same different, same thing. Got a bunch of ferns. Got some cool stuff out here. Enchanted forest. Check it out. Look at all this. This is where all the tickets are gonna come in. Yeah, if you look here. Tickets one for 270, 271 for 540, and 541 through 810. That is that is correct. They sold up to 810 tickets. I believe the advisor told me they've sold 750 something tickets tonight. We have a lot of kids coming. Note why we have a giant sound system. But yeah, these doors will be shut. All the kids will funnel through there. Oh, I forgot. Let's show you some of the other decor around the room. Check all this out. This is their gift table. They got a lot of like tea lights and stuff they're gonna be lighting, but they looks like they got uh, succulents for all the kids to take home with them. Favors, yep, check it out. Look at all that. That's just incredible, incredible. This is the other side of the entryway. Check it, check it. They got some more ferns over here. They got a little water barrel thing yeah they're gonna have a bunch of very very nice food tonight um charcuterie and all i don't even remember quote unquote the kids are used to bougie food so we got bougie food tonight we have the apex led sign here kind of hard to see but that's the apex prom high prom led sign yeah, there you go apex high led sign on our hedge wall we have this cool this is probably where we're gonna have desserts and stuff or the charcuterie something's gonna be on this there you go white chocolate chip white Cookies, 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 cookies. They have this cool little area for some photos once upon a time. They have a photo booth in the back here. It looks like it's a green screen photo booth. That's kind of cool. They have a bloom wall over here that you can also take pictures with. Very cool, very cool. Anyways, guys, we will check in later on when we get all the uplights on. We all set up, all the uplights are on. I think it's time for some cinematics.
from me. Him did the job, third is the name. The brother did the chain. Tell him for a watch, cause he played Jane.
Are y'all ready?
What are we going to rave here right now? If you're ready to rage, if you're ready to party, I need everyone to get on in on the dance floor. And uh, trailer doors going up, going up on trailer one. I never even really showed the trailers. That's the first trailer, that's my trailer. Load up with all the lighting stuff. And that's Aaron's chair. Aaron, Aaron, I stumbled, numbled. That's Aaron's trailer. His is a little bit bigger. You got a 14 foot, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's got a, he's got a 14 foot. All right guys, Gabe, what's up? Hey, hey I got another hype man, me and Corn. Yeah, him and Cor were going all night. <laughs> <laughs> they were so hype. Anyways, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Keep the record spinning. This was a crazy night, and we're getting, we got more to do in the morning. So, peace.